turbo diesel. Who cares about a turbo diesel when you got a Wrangler 350? Crank that baby up! Oh yeah, we gotta go for a spin in this thing. You can drag race and go off-road and all in one package. 350. Off-road ready. Yep. That's me and the team. Did you get it in Mexico? Just don't get caught. Ten thousand dollar fine. The only thing it does is it freezes everything. Yeah. You get it on your hand, it just instantly freezes it. Yeah. You put it on grass, it just freezes the grass. You just hit it and it shatters. Oh. Yep. I guess that was cool, wasn't it? <laughs> it freeze some mosquitoes and crack their wings off. You woke the neighbors up. Yeah, well, that'll go to bed early. I'll be sure about that. All that R12 down. I am got a minute and 45 seconds to smoke the tires off the rims. Jesus. Yeah, you'll get it done. $1,000 tires. Yeah, really. Baja claws. Yeah, in pretty good shape too. Big fender flares. What year is this thing? A 5.7 in glass packs. All right, I'll follow you out to the street. We'll crank this baby up. See if you can attract the uh, attention of the gendarme. Yeah. At least all your lights work. Next one will have to be a 6.5 turbo diesel. Okay. Yeah. Bring it back one from California or Arizona. I'll put it on the roof of the uh, of my truck. Oh, light's green too. Yeah! Alright, that's over with. Alright, back to my work. It's 11 o'clock at night. Uh, I guess we're not going tomorrow, huh? <laughs> Good night. Rum, rum. So here's the, here's the four-wheel drive actuator that goes into the side of the front differential that engages four-wheel drive. And according to my buddy with the fast Jeep, it's supposed to be, that pin is supposed to be in. See the springy? He says it's supposed to be in. Four-wheel drive is out. So, I'm going to put the camera on the ground. I'm going to zip that right off and have two-wheel drive permanently. Notice that the oil and the differential has got a lot of metal in it. So. Whatever, I just scrapped it, but now it won't go into four-wheel drive. But that's a good thing because I'm hopefully going to stay shiny side up on the interstate, no off-roading. There it is. It goes into the front axle. Right there. Two-wheel drive, four-wheel drive. I got to drain the oil from there too. All right, eleven or something. Yep, 11 o'clock. Time to go to bed. Alright, I promise in my delirium of not having eaten all day, the spoiler is on. A couple of clips didn't work, so I just opened up the old ones and used them as clothespins. Got a front spoiler now. That parts the truck. Spoiler. And, now that it's night time, it's 11.30. Here's my original interior light. Here's my auxiliary ones. Yeah, they do a lot when you're trying to read a road map. How about this, baby? Whoa! Now that's what I call lit interior. Tools. Let's see what it looks like from far away. Yep. Kind of rinky-dink installation. But, that's what I like. Nice, bright interior. 
So let's close up all the windows, get the power locks, and put this baby to bed. Good night, y'all. Finally.